Welcome to Creative Writing with Ashley. This virtual enrichment is brought to you by Center for Success. In today's video, we're going to be making squishy writing bags. Squishy writing bags are a fun activity for both free writers and writers um, to practice their skills. Free writers can use them to practice writing their numbers, their letters, or even their name. And then writers can use them to practice writing their spelling words, or they can use them to help with math problems. They make um, writing a lot more fun. So let's get on to um, the ingredients that we're gonna need. So the three main ingredients that we're gonna need to make our squishy writing bags are flour, some water, and some food coloring. I'm gonna use the color blue for mine. And then we're also going to need a Ziploc bag to put the mixture inside of, some measuring cups to measure out the mixture, a bowl and spoon to mix up the mixture, and some tape to close the bag once we're done um, completing our mixture. So now let's get on to making our squishy writing bags. So the first thing that we're going to need to uh, make our squishy writing bag is one cup of flour. So we're going to put our cup of flour into our mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add our water. So we're going to add one cup of water to our mixing bowl too. And now we're going to add a couple of drops of our chosen food coloring. So I'm going to dro drop about five drops of this into here. Alright. And now I'm going to start mixing it all together. All right, so now it's all mixed. I really like, ooh, I really like the color that it is. So I'm good with food coloring. I think the consistency of it is perfect. So now it's time to add it to my Ziploc baggie. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of my way. All right. Now I'm just going to spoon it into my Ziploc baggie. Alright, so I had a friend hold the bag open for me so I could uh, better pour the mixture inside of it. Because I was having a really hard time. So now that it's like that, we're going to make sure that we get all of the air out when we close it. Because we don't want a lot of air in there. So we can do this by putting it flat on the table and just squishing some of the air out, making sure that we don't accidentally let the mixture fall out. Alright, and once we think we have all the air out, we can just seal up the bag. Alright, and now we're going to put our tape um, where we closed our bag so that we can make sure that it's extra sealed. Uh, I would recommend using the, some duct tape to do this, but uh, I'm going to be using this tape for it. So I taped up my seal pretty good uh, with quite a few pieces of tape, and now it is ready to be used. I just got to make sure I squish it all the way down the bag. So it's all through the bag. Like so. And now we can start writing with it. 
I'm sorry about all the flour on my table, but now that it's done, I can write um anything that I want into it. So I could practice my numbers with it, such as a number one. I can wipe it away, or, and then I can practice my letters, like a letter A. Now, I did put a little bit too much in my bag. Um, you want to make sure you don't put too much because... Now that I put too much, if I have it all spread out evenly, um, my letters don't really stay as well. So I've pushed some of it over like that, and then I can still use it. But you're going to want to make sure that you're not overfilling your bag. You just need a nice little layer of it for them to be able to use. So again, today we learned how to make squishy writing bags. Please comment below what color you chose for your squishy writing bag and share all your feedback about what you enjoyed and what you would like to see more of. Thank you for sharing your time with Center for Success. We are so grateful for the opportunity to be part of your life and to share this new form of community with you. Bye, and I'll see you guys next time.